Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT control river cleaning robots. So this boat consists of uh, ESP32 camera which can provide us the visuals and also from the same screen on the browser we can control the directions of this uh, boat along with belt controlling. And also it has uh, two sensors, one is ultrasonic sensor which is easy to detect the obstacles means whenever the boat is moving if any obstacles or rocks are present in front of that the robot movement will be stops by detecting that obstacle if the obstacle is less than the 35 centimeters and if we set the limit for the 35 centimeters we can increase that up to 4 meters as hc04 uh, hcsr04 ultrasonic sensor can measure the distance up to maximum of 4 meters and also one more sensor we are placed that uh, dustbin uh, trash collection bin so here we are using the ir sensor so there we place the ir sensor which is used to detect the trash level so when the trash level was reaches this level then automatically there is a light indication in front of the camera so means fr from which mobile phone we are going to controlling the robot uh, that visuals consist of a red led presentation so here we can see the pcb that consists of red led so whenever the trash bin got filled then in the visuals we can see the red light indication we will show you that also and at the same time we can get the audible alerts from the buzzer so we have placed the piezo buzzer here which is 5 volt operated so these two as the output uh, whenever the trash bin got filled the whole system getting uh, power supply from the 12 volts 2 amps battery pack so this is a 12 volts 2 amp battery pack which is rechargeable so here providing the power supply to the battery for the uh, recharging purpose one is from the solar as a source and uh, another is a transformer whenever there is no power source available from the solar panel means whenever there is no sunlight is there then we can charge a battery with the help of this transformer and uh, the whole system getting uh, driven by the Arduino Uno so which is taking care of inputs from the sensor 1 and sensor 2 and ESP32 camera based on this input we are going to control the boat movement in forward backward left right direction along with stop as well as a belt con uh, controller so here we are using two DC motors for the boat movement those are all 30 rpm 12 volt and the belt movement is driven by the 10 rpm 12 volt DC motor so this 12 volts is input to the L293 d motor driver so which can control the uh, boat movement and to this MOSFET board to control the or uh, 10, 10 rpm DC motor belt motor and also we are providing the same 12 DC input to this LM2596 voltage regulator from there we are going to get the 5 volts DC output directly so which is the main operating voltage for our input and output modules along with Arduino Uno board coming to the components clearly so SR04 obstacle detection ESP32 camera for visuals and to controllings and L293D motor driver for boat movements buzzer for audible alerts and this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules and this one is the LM2596 voltage regulator and this is the Arduino Uno and a MOSFET motor driver and 12 volts 2 amp battery pack and transformer 12 volt 5 watt, 5 watt uh, solar panel so let me explain you the connections charging uh, way so when you want to charge a battery from the transformer we need to connect the T so this is a T at this T slot TRS we can see the T slash S so T for transformer and on the power supply to this uh, 230 volts AC input then the battery will be charging and it will take around 8 hours to be fully charged so till that we need to keep on charging if it is fully charged also automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow in order to protect the battery from overcharging and in our final demonstration so our project is like solar powered right so then we need to connect this S at this S slot and when we place this under the sunlight then we can see the charge LED indication on this charging circuit either from solar panel or transformer the battery will get fully charged in a duration of 8 hours so the very first step is we need to keep the battery under full charge and uh, the next step is second step is we need to enable the hotspot in your mobile phone so for that we need to go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to project 5804 so go to hotspot settings and uh, configure the hotspot to project 5804 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 ab band should be 2.4 gigahertz after that enable the hotspots 
So here, here we need to install one application that is network analyzer application. So this is the application icon in available in the Play Store. Install that application. The application purpose is to get the IP address of our ESP32 camera. So after enable the hotspots and install the application, now on the power supply to that. So this is the main on-off switch. So off and on. So when we on that, we can see one device is connected in your mobile phone. See one device was got connected. Now plan, LAN scan options. So do the scan. There we get the two IP addresses. Right. Express is our ESP32 camera. Copy that. And go to Google Chrome. Paste over here. Enter right. So we can see the visuals from the board movement. So coming to the robot uh, board controlling. So when you press and hold it, then the respective action will be executed. So release the direct the moment will be stopped. Backward. Forward. and headlight on headlight off right so headlight on we can see that and headlight off so the above the red led we can see that it is a uh, dustbin full indication sensor LED indication Right. So whenever the dustbin get filled, the trash bin get filled one. So we can see the so let me place some dust over there. So here in your mobile phone we can see the alert indication. So dust under. So we can see the above is a red alert indication which show the dustbin got filled. So now the red alert was gone. So in this manner we will get the alert notification along with visual and audible alerts along with live video transmission for river cleaning.